Hello everyone, it's Monday the 22nd of June and I, I hope and pray that this message at the start of a new day and the start of a new week finds you well. We're going to take a moment to pause and to be still, to hear from God as he speaks to us through his word and to pray to him together. And today we're going to pray a prayer of thankfulness for God's lavish love for each of us and for the opportunities he will provide us to share his love with others today. So let's pause and be still, to breathe slowly, to recenter our scattered senses once more in the Lord today, and as we pray, to know that he is God. We hear these words of Jesus in John 15, verse 12. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. And in 1 John 3 verse 1 we read, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. Let's pray together. Loving Heavenly Father, later today we will say our goodbyes for a time to another one of your children who has been called home to be with you in paradise. We're reminded once more of the fragile nature of this earthly journey the sting of death that is so painful, and yet the eternal hope that comes through trusting and following Jesus, your Son, and the incredible love that we can experience through him. Lord, even as we journey through the dark valley of the shadow of death today and in the days to come, we pray that you would enable us to rejoice in you. And we have many reasons to rejoice, even in the midst of our sufferings. For you, Father, have lavished your love on us through the death and resurrection of Jesus. Because of Jesus' death on the cross, our sins, past, present and future, have been forgiven. Through Jesus' gift of selfless love and supreme sacrifice, we are made new and clean, reconciled to you, Father, our names written in your book of life and made citizens of heaven. Because of Jesus, we have been adopted into your eternal family as your beloved children. Wow. We have the gift of the Holy Spirit in our lives, working in us, working through us, always with us every step of the journey. We are never, ever alone. Our three score years and ten may be filled with difficulty and suffering. But because Jesus has risen from the dead, death has been defeated. And our last breath here on earth for those who love you is followed by our next breath in paradise with you for all eternity. And no matter what comes our way here on earth, we will see Jesus face to face one day soon and will spend eternity with you and with brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, no matter what our present circumstances today, no matter what this week will bring, help us to see you clearly and to rejoice in you and in your love for us. And as we do so, help us to truly discover your balm in the midst of heartache, your rest in the midst of exhausting tension, your love in the midst of loneliness, and your presence in control of very difficult circumstances. Lord, your love for us is wide and long and high and deep. It is wondrous. It is unparalleled. Thank you, Lord, for loving us extravagantly, fully and lavishly. But Lord, help us not to end it there, for we can't do that. We mustn't do that. Help us to respond today to your lavish love by giving our lives to you and loving you with all our hearts, minds, souls and strength. Help us to walk in your ways today, going where you would lead us, teaching us more today about what it means to live for you. And help us, Lord, to love each other as you have loved us. This is the new and never-ending command you've given us as your followers, to love others as you have loved us. We need your grace and the work of your Spirit in us to do so. So help us today, Lord, we pray, to love each other in the way that you have lavishly loved us. Forgive us for all the ways we have loved poorly in thought, word and deed. Humble us, free us and empower us to love you and love others well today, loving our families loving our friends, loving our neighbours, loving our enemies, loving our work colleagues, loving the strangers that you will bring across our path, loving in selfless, sacrificial and lavish ways 
the way that you have loved us. Lord, as this new day and new week begins, help us to experience your lavish love in our lives and to share your love with others through our actions and our words so that many will be drawn to Jesus and experience your love for themselves. So come, Lord, pour out your spirit, we pray. Amen. If you would like someone to pray with you today or if you need help in any way or you want to chat about what it might means to find hope and strength and love in Jesus and to share his love with others, then please get in touch with us. That's what we're here for. Every blessing.